Okay, so ang start tayo dito. Ano nga ba ang ordinary annuity? So, we have here ordinary annuity. Okay? Ordinary annuity. Pag sinabing ordinary annuity, ayan ay equal payment. So, kung gagawa ka ng cash flow diagram natin dito, 0, 1, 2, 3 payment periods hanggang and payment periods kung ilang beses mo gusto magbayad yung cash flow mo equal lahat yan so kung ngayong taon nag-release ka ng 10,000 next year mag-release ka ng 10 kasusunod 10 din so lahat yan uh, A ang value okay now para makuha yung present work bawat isa nyan papapuntahin mo sa year 0 Yan yung present worth. At meron tayong formula nyan. Ang formula para sa present worth, uh, P is equal to an A, yung annuity natin, times a certain factor, a, cer a certain number. Ito yung 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 all over 1 plus I raised to N times I. So, Ito yung, ito yung formula natin para sa present worth ng annuity. Ngayon, meron pa tayong isa, yung future worth naman. So, again, we have a cash flow diagram. 0, 1, 2, 3, tapos N. Yung annuity na yan, papapuntahin mo siya sa future. So, papunta sa N. So, lahat yan, punta dito. Yan yung future worth. etong mga to, A, lahat yung value. Okay? Dahil equal payments. Yan. At ang um, formula natin for the future, parang ano lang, derived from the present worth, diba? Alalaanin, future worth is present worth times 1 plus I raised to N. So, pag kinuha mo tong pinato in terms of the annuity, Maka-cancel lang tong value na to, saka ito. So, ibig sabihin, yung future worth ng annuity natin is the annuity times 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 all over i. Okay? So, yan. Ito yung mga basic formulas ng annuity. Tandaan natin to dahil lagi natin itong makikita. Uh, so, for this example, we have a man paid 10% down payment of 200,000 pesos. So, kung nagbayad siya ng 200,000 pesos as down payment at 10% yun, ibig sabihin, yung total, okay, total cost ng house, so yung cost of house should be equal to, so 10% 200,000, so 200 thousand divided by 0 0.1 or 10 percent big sabi ng cost of house mo is actually 2 million so 2 million pesos yung house and lot na binili niya or inutang niya now after paying 200,000 meron ka nga yung balance eh. so 2 million minus 200,000 so meron kang balance syempre ang balance mo 2 million minus 200 di 1.8 million yun so 1 million 800 thousand okay nag agree siya na monthly installments monthly installments so annuity ka agad to because we are we are assuming na equal monthly installments to for 60 months at an interest rate of 15% compounded monthly now using our formula for Ano, compute the amount of the monthly payment using our formula. Ang, ang present worth natin ngayon is yung balance niya na 1,000 uh, 1.8 million. Sorry, 1 million 800. Ang interest rate 15%. Okay? N mo 60 months. Okay. N mo is 60 months. Ang hinahanap natin, ano yung monthly installments? Ano yung annuity niya? So, uh, substitute natin yan doon sa formula natin for for present worth. Tandaan, present worth is A times 1 plus I 
raised to n minus 1 over 1 plus i raised to n times i. So, substitute mo lang lahat yan. So, makakuha natin the present word. Okay. Uh, yeah. Given eh pala, no? Given yung present word. Given ng present word, uh, 1 million 800 thousand is equal to ito ang missing yung annuity A times okay 1 plus I natin is 0 0.15 raised to N 60 months minus 1 all over 1 plus 0 0.15 raised to 60 times 0 0.15. So, yan. So, uh, mas solve natin si A. We can solve for A and we will get, using your calculators, you will get A is equal to 42,821.87 Yan So, yan ang example ng problem So, ito using yung future work ng annuity So, here's another example How much must be deposited at 6% Okay, so alam mo na kagad yung interest natin ay 6% or 0 0.06 each year beginning on January 1, year 1 in order to ac accumulate 5,000. So accumulation yung inahanap niya, i-accumulate yung 5,000. So that's that's a future worth. So 5,000 na ang future worth on the date of the last deposit, January 1, year 6. Now, para maging malinaw, uh, tignan natin kung, kung ilang periods ba to. So, this is year 1, year 2, year 3, 4, 5, 6. Magde-deposit ka ng magde-deposit hanggang malaman mo kung ilan ang, ilan ang future worth dito. So, syempre, magde-deposit ka rin dyan. So, yan. So, ilan yan? Anim. Anim na deposits ang gagawin mo. Okay? Now, remember our formula for future worth. Uh, future worth is A times 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 all over I. And we are still solving for the annuity. So, isolve na natin ito. Habang formula pa siya, it's F. F times I over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. So, now, we can solve for can solve for A. A is equal to F 5000 times 0 0.06 1 plus 0 0.06 raised to 6 minus 1 and using your calculators ang uh, annual payment na kailangan niyang ma ay 717 pesos yan so okay, ganun so this for this example we have made use nung yung future future work naman ng isang annuity Okay, so here's another example. Dito naman ang missing yung I, yung interest rate. So, sayin natin tanong. A piece of machinery can be bought for $10,000 cash. So, yung cost niya, 10K, $10,000. Okay? Or for 2000 down and $750 per year. So, may dollars dapat to. Per year, for 15 years. So, Ang magiging present worth nito, dahil magda-down ka ng 2,000, magiging 10 minus 2, 8,000 na lang yung babayaran mo. Okay? 8,000. 
So, dapat yung present worth na yan equal doon sa annuity mo, annual payment mo na $750 for 15 years. So, end mo 15 years. Okay. So, ang missing natin ay, so let us remember again, ano yung formula natin for present worth ng annuities. P is equal to A times 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 over 1 plus I raised to N times I. Missing yung I dito. So, hindi natin ito masasolve explicitly. We will solve it by trial. Okay? Pwede mong... So, pag sinubstitute mo, P, kailangan 8,000 equal sa 750 times okay, times 1 plus I raised to 15 minus 1 over 1 plus I raised to 15 times I. So, solving for I using your calculator. So, trial and error kayo sa I. So, let's get a calculator. Okay, kuha tayong calculator. Ito, calculator. So, ang gagawin natin, input natin to 8,000. Okay. 8,000 is equal to 750 times Okay, 1 plus x raised to 15 minus 1. Tapos sa baba, 1 plus x raised to 15 times x. Yan. Shift, solve. Tapos input ka ng mga ng number. Press equals and you will get. Okay, ito yung results natin. Ano to? 0 0.4, or this is about 4.6%. So, I, I is approximately, that's 4.6%. Ito yung interest rate. So, ganyan. So, pwede rin palang I yung hinahanap, no? Hindi lang yung present worth, yung annual worth. Pwede yung end rin, actually. And, uh, ganun din, by trial, pwede mo isolve, solve for N. Or, pwede mong i-manipulate yung algebra niya, masosolve niyo yan.